Greetings, my scattered sisters and brothers in the Lord. I trust you know the Lord is with you wherever you find yourself scattered today, and that you know that His presence with you is more than enough for whatever you might face today. Well, we pick back up with Jesus and the disciples, and they've just fed the 5,000. And you'll remember that Jesus had the disciples help him in feeding the 5,000. That he told them, you feed them, when they were complaining that it would, uh, that they needed to send the crowd away. And Jesus says, no, you feed them. And they say, it's going to take too much money. It's going to take a year's worth of wages. And Jesus says, well, what do you have? And they search and they find out that they have five loaves and two fish. And so they bring that to Jesus. Jesus takes the five loaves, the two fish. He gives thanks, and then he breaks it and gives it back to the disciples, and they distribute it. And we read that there are 5,000 who were fed, 5,000 men. We don't know how many women and children were there with them. And that they all ate, and they were satisfied. And then right after the meal, Jesus immediately makes the disciples get in the boat and go to the other side of the lake. Uh, they're going to Bethsaida. And Jesus stays behind, dismisses the crowd, and he goes up to pray. Uh, if you want to read it, it's in Mark chapter 6, verses 45 and 46. So Mark 6, 45 and 46, they've just fed the 5,000. And immediately after that, Jesus puts the disciples in the boat, makes them go to the other side of the lake ahead of him to Bethsaida, and then Jesus dismisses the crowd, and Jesus goes up on the mountainside to pray alone. So I've been thinking about this a little bit. Why would Jesus immediately dismiss the crowd or dismiss the disciples before he dismisses the crowd? Why would Jesus put the disciples in the boat, tell them, you guys go on ahead, and I'll take care of the crowd, I'll dismiss the crowd, and then Jesus goes up to pray? And I've just been wondering about that because Jesus involved the disciples in miracle. He had them organize the crowd into groups on the green grass, he, 50s and 100s. He had them pass out the food. He had them collect the leftovers. And so the disciples have been very involved in this miracle. And yet Jesus, dis, Jesus sends them away and Jesus is going to dismiss the crowd by himself. And so I kind of wonder what's up with that. Why is Jesus in you know, kind of a hurry? Mark uses the word immediately a lot. But why is Jesus, you know, in a hurry to get the disciples moving, to get them out of there before he dismisses the crowd? So here's where I'm at with it. In the Gospel of John, we discover that after Jesus feeds the 5,000, the people try to make him king that they recognize Jesus' power, and they kind of want to harness that power. They want to make Jesus king. And so I'm wondering if Jesus in Mark is dismissing the disciples so quickly because he doesn't want the disciples to be caught up in the crowd trying to make him king. That he doesn't want the disciples to, you know, kind of be bought off by the crowd that he says, okay, I got to get you away from the crowd, got to get you moving, got to get you out of here, because the crowd, they're going to try to make me king, and I involved you in the, in the miracle of feeding them. Who knows what they'll try to do to you? They'll try to buy you off. They'll try to use you to get next to me, uh, to gain influence on me. Um, just who knows what could have actually happened. And so Jesus is kind of protecting the disciples from the crowd and the desires of the crowd and saying, okay, you guys get out of here, uh, get in the boat, go on ahead, I'll dismiss the crowd. And then Jesus goes up to pray. And so then I kind of think, okay, well, what might Jesus be praying about? Here he is, he's alone, and he's dismissed the crowd. Uh, we know from John, they tried to make him king. And I suspect that Jesus is really kind of praying about two things. Praying, one, for the disciples, like, Lord, protect them from the crowd. And don't let the crowds corrupt them. Don't let the crowds lead them astray. Don't let the crowds kind of buy them off. Uh, so I think Jesus is probably praying for the disciples. But I also can't help but wonder if Jesus is actually praying for himself that he wouldn't get bought off, that he wouldn't get distracted, that he wouldn't compromise and kind of give in to 
uh, a way to be king without actually suffering, without actually going to the cross, uh, that Jesus would be the king that God wants him to be rather than being the king that the people wants him to be and the king that the devil wants him to be, if we think back to his temptations. And so Jesus dismisses the disciples, gets them out of there, realizes that this is kind of a time of temptation. And I think about the Lord's Prayer. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. And I wonder if Jesus is recognizing, you know, this could be a time of major, major temptation for my disciples. Let me get them out of here. Let me send them on their way. I'll catch up with them. And then Jesus dismisses the crowd. And then Jesus goes up to pray for himself, but I think also for the disciples. Well, I don't know where you might be scattered today, but I can't help but wonder, is there a crowd that Jesus wants to get you away from? You know, is there a crowd that is a negative influence on you or a crowd that's trying to buy you off? Uh, a, crowd, a crowd that is trying to um, use you? And Jesus' desire is, hey, get in the boat. Let me deal with the crowd. Get on your way. I'll dismiss the crowd. And then Jesus goes to pray. And, you know, Jesus is at the right hand of the Father and he's interceding for us, interceding for you even now. And so listen to Jesus if you're dealing with a crowd. It may even be a crowd that you served, a crowd that you blessed, a crowd that Jesus used you uh, to show that he's the good shepherd, but now it's time to go get out of that crowd. And so listen to Jesus. And if he's telling you, hey, leave the crowd, leave the crowd and know that Jesus is at the right hand of the Father interceding for you, uh, that you wouldn't be led into temptation, that you would indeed be delivered from evil. Well, God bless. Have a great day. And praise God, we have such a good shepherd.